Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's Meet Knowledge Free Campaign we go about looking at how we can schedule a meeting on Webex. So basically if you have created an account on Webex, what you can then do is use it for creating virtual meetings and therefore you need to schedule a meeting so that you can invite then different participants as well as the presenter and make someone the host or you can yourself be the host so let's look at how that is done once you have logged inside the webex platform this is how the interface will present itself here this is basically the home the meetings tab basically shows the different meetings that you may have but at present we have scheduled none so we would be wanting to schedule a meeting so we click on schedule once we click on schedule like the word means schedule you will obviously give the date and the time also say that this is a meeting say for communication something and say the meeting password so you can give the meeting password something so I give it ABCD one two three four exclamation mark and then you can give the perfect timeline so for us here in India it would be this then this is not a recurring meeting and the duration since we are using the free account so we cannot exceed uh, like 50 minutes so that is the duration maximum duration that a free account can give you and when do you want to have the meeting so today it's like the 25th I want to keep this meeting say tomorrow at 5 30 so I will first select the date and then I will have the time so 5 30 PM. So this is how like I have selected or rather scheduled a meeting for 5.30 PM tomorrow and I have scheduled this on Webex and then like I can give different attendees from here itself. So what happens is all these attendees would be getting mail invite for the meeting. Also I can remove them from here and then there's something called as advanced options. So basically if you see here, this is basically for the audio. So you are using voice over internet protocol. Then the meeting agenda, you can write something here. This is communication meeting. And then the scheduling different options. So you can exclude the password from the email invitation, but you can also keep it. The attendees can join the meeting five minutes. Or like you can decide whatever time you want to have breakout sessions so we'll be looking at what this means uh, you can decide to lock unlock and you would be wanting to lock if you want to do that you can automatically lock your meeting 15 minutes after the meeting starts I really don't want that and as of now I have not kept any uh, like registration and yeah I would want email reminder 15 minutes before Okay, as far as meeting options go, this basically means that the participants can chat with each other, participants can take notes, and you can also enable closed captioning, which I would presently not want. If you want to give them some privileges, so you can have those privileges with this, so participants can chat privately with other participants, with the host, and other things. They can control desk remotely, they can view any page, and they can share content which is very important so if you click on they can share content they can share their content as well so once you have kind of finished this so this is how you would be scheduling meeting so you click after that schedule so what now happens is that this meeting has now been scheduled and this meeting if you see is basically now for 26th of October and you have the meeting link the meeting number so in case people like you know they join the meeting and if they're prompted with password meeting ID and password they will have to put this and this so you can put in a mail asking people to join and with this meeting ID and password or you can give them direct link this so when you give them this direct link they can directly click on this link and they will be taken to the meeting that you host so this is how you would be scheduling a meeting Please understand the difference between scheduling and starting a meeting. In case you have ever booked a Uber or Ola ride, you know what's the difference between like booking a ride and scheduling a ride. 
So when you schedule the ride, it's actually for later, right? And when you start it, it's like right then. So I'm not starting a meeting right now. I'm scheduling a meeting and it's for a later point of time. And therefore, like we use this option. And once this is done, that's it. Just one more thing, like, you know, this will always be there in your meetings tab. So like anytime you want to see like the different meetings that you have, you can always click on the meetings tab and you can have this small little calendar wherein you can see like the different meetings and when they are scheduled. Also, like you can click on the specific meeting and in case you want to do any editing or rescheduling, you can click on edit from here and you can, you know, assign a different date in case you want to do. Say I decide that this date is not fine with me and I want to reschedule this to 27th, 5.30 p.m. I can do that as well. And like, you know, I can click on save. And it says that we'll send an updated email invitation to everyone who has been invited to the meeting. So that's actually fabulous for you. So this is how you would be scheduling. And I think this is more or less clear. But still, in case if you have any doubts, please feel free to ask me so that we can go ahead and clarify that as well for you guys. So please subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon for notifications. And in case you have any queries, please feel free to let us know in the comment section. We would be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much.